Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. I am doing kind of a surprise video. It's surprising to me that I'm doing this video. Um, it's on mashed potatoes. I never intended to do a video on mashed potatoes, but a friend of mine asked me if I would show her how to make them on a video. And I said, honey, don't you know how to make a mashed potato? And she said, well, I know how to make them using a box of instant mashed potatoes. I just shook, shook my head and I said, well, baby, you can Google mashed potatoes. I'm satisfied that there's somebody out there that has made a video on making mashed potatoes. And she said, but Jamie, I want to know how you make mashed potatoes. So I'm flattered, but I mean, I don't know that my mashed potatoes are anything special, but they're good. So I know the majority of you guys don't need to know how to make mashed potatoes, but there's a few of you who, who obviously are interested in learning how to make a mashed potato. So I'm going to show you. I feel like I'm called to show you. So here we go. I'm making mashed potatoes. Now I have taken some, a mixture. I took about five medium Yukon Gold potatoes and two big old russet bacon potatoes and I peeled them. And then I cut them into little cubes like this. Just, you know, cubed them up. That's the dog. And I boiled them in a little bit of salty water for, it was at least 10 to 12 minutes. And I got them to the point to where they're, they're mushy. And that is what we want. Now, when I make mashed potatoes, I like to use a combination of potatoes because, well... Potatoes have different sugar contents. And if you're gonna use straight russet potatoes to make your mashed potatoes, they're gonna have a, a weird grain to them that is not my favorite. And if you're gonna use all Yukon Gold, well, they're good, but they're even better if you mix them up. So that's why I use part Yukon Gold and part russet because the sugar content complements each other. And I just think it makes for a heck of a tasty bowl of mashed potatoes. So this is six cups of diced up boiled potatoes. And you see it's nice and steaming. It just came out of the water. To this, I am going to add half of a packet of cream cheese. Don't roll your eyes at me. It's good. I'm just saying, it's real good. So half of a pack of cream cheese, if you feel like you need to justify it. You can use the light, but don't use fat free because it's not very good. Well, I mean, you can use what you want to, but I'm just saying if you're going to go to the trouble of making homemade mashed potatoes, they might as well taste good, right? Anyway, okay, so here we've got the potatoes and the cream cheese, and now I'm going to add a little bit of milk. Now, this is just 2% milk. If you want them to be over the top, unctuous, lovely yumminess. You could use half and half or you could use cream. It's, you know, it's up to you. But I'm going to go in with about half a cup. Yep, half a cup. And then I'm going to get my mixer here. Now this thing is as loud as a bulldozer, but it gets the job done. So just bear with me for a minute and I'm going to mix these up. And then I'll see what we've got. Well, it's not that bad, but it's bad enough. If you had a potato masher, by all means, use your potato masher. I mean, that's what it's for, but I like to make a racket. And I also happen to like the consistency that whipping or beating, in this regard, uh, give to the potatoes. So I'm um, just mixing them up and I'm gonna put them on high just a minute. Hold your ears. And seriously, that's just about all there is to it. Now, I'm going to set my mixer down, and it'll probably tip all over because it always does for some reason. Don't do it. Okay. Now, I'm just going to add some salt and pepper because, well, you got to. 
So I'm going to take my black pepper. I'm going to put in, I'm going to start with a quarter of a teaspoon because we like them to have some pepper in them, but sometimes I get a little crazy with the pepper. Here goes the salt. I'm going in with a quarter teaspoon of salt. Oh, who am I kidding? We're going to need another one. So that's a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to have a little butter. So here's a stick of butter. And I am getting, that looks like about two tablespoons. So it goes right in. Now I'm just going to take this. I'm going to stir them up. Now if you find that you have thinned them out too much, that is totally forgivable. And it happens. And it is fixable. But you got to have a box of instant mashed potatoes in the house if you run into that problem. Yes, I have mashed potatoes in a box in my pantry. I am not above using them, but I prefer to make them homemade. I mean, they taste better, but, you know, I'm not opposed to doing it quick way. Shoot, why not? All right, so these are together. I'm going to taste them because, well, oh, and you see, they've got some lumps in there, and I like that. That's just the sign of a good homemade potato, um, well, a homemade mashed potato, because if it was all smooth and creamy, people would think that, oh, she just used a box, so let's time. Mmm, that cream cheese is just lovely in it. I ain't lying. It could use just a hint of salt. But other than that, y'all, these potatoes are done, and that's all she wrote. It takes 12 minutes to boil the potatoes, and then you just saw me throw this together. So don't deny yourself or your family or your friends or whoever wonderful goodness like this. It's quick. It's easy. Potatoes are cheap. You're just going to spend more on the butter. And you're worth some butter. Get some butter in your life. That's what I have to say about that. Listen, y'all, it was a joy to be here. I'm so happy that you tuned in. I hope you learned something, folks. Those of you who don't know how to make them or who didn't know how to make them because now you do. Um... I hope that you uh, check out another video because I am making steak and gravy later. And it's going to go good with these potatoes. So just be on the lookout for that video. And as always, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, follow along. I would appreciate any kind of comment that you want to make because, well, hearing from you helps me determine what I'm going to put on this program. See, you told me you want to mash potatoes. Oh! <gasps> You got mashed potatoes. So just reach out. I'm happy to help. I hope y'all have a great evening. Bye, y'all.